The two Starliner test pilots, meantime, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, just held an hour long tell all press conference about their time in space and their return, which was delayed. Channel 9's Dick Pampantonis listened in to what they had to say. I wanted to hug my husband and hug my dogs. And I'll say that order in that order, but maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore all smiles during their first press conference two weeks after they splashed down on Earth. Just thankful for a nation that cares, a nation that prays, and a nation that uh, is involved in the processes that are important to all of us. The two talked about that return, with Sonny saying her first notable meal on the ground was a grilled cheese sandwich, and she was proud of running three miles the day before. Butch talked about the ill-fated Starliner spacecraft that brought them up, but not back down. There were questions that I, as a commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked, and I did not. At the time, I didn't know I needed to, and maybe you could call that hindsight, but I'll start and point the finger and I'll blame me. The two compared Starliner to SpaceX's Dragon, saying Dragon is more comfortable with more Velcro to strap things down and more intuitive display systems, while Starliner is a better ride and more maneuverable. Both said if asked, they'd ride it again. Yes, because we're going to rectify all the issues that we, that we encountered. Yeah. We're going to fix them. We're going to make it work. Sometimes good news, bad news, it's just news, and it's good for space exploration, is, and that's what we're all about. Sonny Williams also thanked the two astronauts that gave up their seats so they could have a safe ride down from the space station back in September. They were on hand, actually, to greet them when they came back down to Earth. She said they mostly tuned out the noise when they were up there. It's been a little overwhelming since they returned. She also said this is a lesson to young people, that life doesn't always go in a straight line, and sometimes the opportunities come from places you don't expect. In Orlando, Nick Papantonis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.